Important stuff here. It's full auto. I went with steady rounds instead of ricochet rounds. The range is pretty bad. It's 29. We'll talk about that later on. Recoil is really good, 92. That's helpful. Zen moment does help because once you start to do some damage, stability increases. And overall, it's a pretty stable weapon. It's just the range really hurts it. This thing's a little baby jackhammer. I like using it. I like the feel of it. I like the sound of it. Is it the meta? No. But it's fun to use. It kind of reminds me of the nail gun from the original plate game, if anybody ever played that. I'm going to use it at close range. Like right here, this guy comes around the corner. Alright, trying to pick him off. It's got some punch to it, for sure. I was really surprised at how good it is if you're close range one on one. Really good example of how to use it right here. One on one, close the gap, get the kill. You can get kills at medium range with it, but that's not what you want to do. That's a bad position to be in. The recoil is not the problem. The problem is the damage fall off because it's only got a range of 29. You watch the gameplay footage, the recoil is manageable. It's actually really good. Aim chest level, and you get some headshots mixed in with it too. Scrub moment incoming. I do exactly what I just told you not to do. I engage at too far of range and lose the gunfight. If you engage at medium range, there's going to be somebody with Uriel's gift or some other meta auto rifle that's going to stretch you. This is a really niche weapon. If you're going to use it and have fun, you're going to have to get kills with it, right? You want to engage one-on-one, -on -one, close range. That's it. Perfect example of what not to do right here. I go to challenge. There's two guys. I'm going to get team shot, and I'm done. Here's a better example of what to do. So I isolate the encounter. I'm one-on-one. -on -one. I get lucky because this guy right here missed his melee. I'm able to shut him down, too. It's actually got pretty good hip fire too. It's not bad. Make sure you got a full clip when you engage. Okay, the crit damage on this is 27. Body damage is 20. Your best TTK or time to kill is going to be 0 0.93 seconds. That's with 6 crit and 2 body shots. Clip only holds 15. you got to have 8 bullets to kill somebody. You're not going to multi-kill with this unless they're already damaged. Even with that full clip, you got to make your shots count. Right here, my scrub aim gets me killed. I should have beat that guy. you got to consider your matchups, too. If you're going against an auto rifle, pretty good chance you'll win close range, one-on-one. -on -one. If you're going against a submachine gun, probably not. Going against a hand cannon like I am here, yeah, you can get the kill. One last thing, don't forget to melee. That's part of being in close. You two-piece people. Right here, I get smoked because of it. I've been thinking about branching out, playing some different games. Drop a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like. I really appreciate it.